from doodle bug to tusker part 3 the first two parts we have learned of food habits of animals and how they catch prey their techniques to catch prey today we learn how do they escape from their enemies what are the techniques they use to escape from their enemies for defense like how the fox got the tortoise have you heard the saying seeing the fox the tortoise pulled back the head and legs into its shell the fox stood waiting for the head of the tortoise to come out what a fun how is the trick used by the tortoise to save him from the enemies have you seen his shell it's very hard the shell protects the tortoise from its enemies the tortoise can retract their necks and heads directly backwards into the shell to protect them amachare treyam katti ullo or porandodine agathekke adinte talayum kaaligalu okke anga olipichu vekkum adinte shatrukale kaanumbolekku anganeyana adu shatrukale ninnu raksha nedunnathu like this different animals use different techniques to escape from their enemies let's have a look you can see so many creatures here many are familiar to you who is the first one yes it's a callout we have already discussed about him what is he famous for he is famous for his change in color let's watch the video see he walks along a branch and sticks out his tongue changing from red to pink to green to yellow and blue he uses this technique to catch his prey and to hide from his enemies kandile adu adinte ere pidikkan vendittum adinte shatrukalil ninnu raksha nedan vendittum adirikkina chuttupaadin anusarichu adinte naro ingane maarikondirikkana next is porcupine you may not have seen him they are creatures with cords of sharp spines or quills that protect them against predators porcupines use the quills as a defense they make shake them which makes them rattle abagadam undannu thoniyal adinte mullugal elichu nirthi adu kuliki shabdam undakunu ennittum shatru pinmaarnillengil adave aakramikkunu Have you ever seen this? This is a squid. It has eight arms and two tentacles. How does he escape from his enemies? It has ink sac and it can produce ink. It spreads ink in the water and escape from enemies. you are very much familiar with this creature aren't you how does it save from its enemies it can change its shape it takes a round shape like a wheel to escape from his enemies enganeyana theratta enganeyana adinte shape maatu adinte aakruthi maati round aavu alle next is snail like tortoise it also has a shell around its body snails can be found in gardens in ponds and even in the sea normally their soft bodies are protected by a hard shell when the snail is disturbed it simply withdraws or pulls itself back into its shell alenge aame pole thanne endengilum shatrukalde samipam undagumbol adinde purandodilekku adu valinji rakshapadugiyana cheynathu This is lizard. You all know him. How do they defend an enemy? Tail dropping is a defense mechanism of lizard. 
they are designed to do this with special connective tissues in the tail they will drop their tail if threatened scared or if their tail is grabbed so we have seen different techniques used by organisms to escape from enemies organisms escape from their enemies by changing body color changing shape and shedding tail certain skills given by nature help these organisms in this not only animals plants do have such adaptations this is touch me not or mimosa pudica or shy lady is a creeping plant what happens when we touch the leaves the leaflets also close when stimulated by touching or blowing or shaking the leaf shrink as a defense from herbivores sasyaharigal nanno rakshana edan vendittana ee tottavadi ingane adeyunnathu like this try to find out the defense mechanism of other plants and animals and write your observation in your in your